<laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Master Rolfus and welcome to another part in Europe of Barbarum 2 as the Podlovian Empire. Or soon to be the Podlovian Empire. We're not technically an empire yet, we're sort of just like an upstart nation, flexing our muscles a little bit and then afterwards once we conquer Persepolis, maybe we'll then become an empire. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we don't even need that empire title. We could just call ourselves the Podlovi Dynasty, the Podlovi Superpower, the Podlovi Nation State. I, I don't really know. But anyway, last time we left off, we were just about done conquering the Seleucid city of Apamea, and then uh, we also conquered Alexandria, Aria. We're probably going to go down south and maybe conquer Prophetasia, and then that should be it for the Seleucid cities to the east. And afterwards, we can probably meet up both of our armies in Persepolis, push on to the west, and continue pushing till we hit the coast of Jerusalem. Seems like a good sound strategy. So far, there are going to be some revolts that might happen in two of these cities, which kind of sucks. I'm trying to fix that, but I don't think that's going to happen, actually. So we might have to face off against a rebellion here and there, which all around sucks. But that's kind of how the cookie crumbles. Uh, you, let's see, how old are you? 18. Oh, good. Okay. You can go that way. How about Alexandria? Just a tad. We do have these rebels here that are kind of chilling out, but we don't really have to worry about them too much. So far, everything seems to be a-okay. We've built up these seas quite a bit. We're making a ton of cash. Let's end our turn. Let's see what happens. Maybe the Seleucids will put up some kind of challenge. By the way, Seleucids are falling apart, and it's funny. It's funny as fuck. They're getting killed by rebels, and they're getting destroyed by the Egyptians. By the way, another thing that I have to say before I continue this little uh, shiz biz is that we I actually downloaded the new campaign AI improvement that they've made, which makes the AI a lot more formidable makes them do less derpy things and allows me to have more diplomatic options which is all around pretty good uh candidate for adoption Alrighty then we'll adopt you so if you do see some changes that's because i downloaded a new mod so that's pretty good flash flood what someone's affected uh capital whoa whoa dude dude can you can you rev up your harley somewhere else good god Ooh, Asak does not like us. Why doesn't Asak like us? Growth build policy. There we go. Now you like us. You'll like us now. I guarantee it. Should actually get allied democratic or oligarchic state soon. Right now, I just want to get a wooden wall just in case something bad happens. You can never be too careful. We can get a ton of units, actually. A ton of mercs. But I don't want to get any. Not right now. Should probably get maybe Bactrian tribesmen actually. Seeing as though they're a pretty solid unit. Do we have any Bactrian tribesmen? We do have one unit of Bactrian tribesmen. Look at that axe! You can just cleave through fools! Chop down some trees! Okay, you've stopped revolting. That's really good. And we've kind of filled up the entire city actually. Waiting for one more cataphract. Probably move out right about now. Ooh. Look at this. Yeah, this missile calf will do very nicely against heavily armored fools and the medium calf. Actually, we should probably wait till this temple's finished out. Then afterwards, once I know that I can essentially handle any rebellion that happens in the city, I'm going to go ahead and leave some troops behind. And then afterwards, we'll go ahead and conquer this city over here of Asapandana. Wait a minute. Where's the Slukits? Where'd they go? Shit, they disappeared. Oh, that's not good. Alright, let's see what I can use with my I mean, what I can build with my money. What I can use. Come on. Can I use anything? No. Maybe we should save up money to try and uh, get something nice for Asak. Or get some small scale farming for these two cities. I like that actually a lot more. Yeah, no, not really. Hold on. Should really try to help out our cities over here that are cities of Bukharak and Asaka and Niyasa, simply because they are the heartland of our empire. Ooh, that would help a lot more. Allow Bukharak to grow a little bit. Because we need that city to grow. We can't have it become a camp for the rest of history. Same with Niyasa. I don't know how we could actually upgrade Niyasa to some sort of town, but we really do need to upgrade the city to a town. What is this, Port Town? Does that actually help in transforming this into a town? Or is that just like small upgrade? Yeah, I guess we'll find out later on. 
Kiva is still a pretty large city. Really, saving up money to get mines is just a dumb idea. Alright, so we have a bunch of cash that's left over. Let's see. We build some kick-ass units. Colonistic native phalanx. Nah, let's not get that. Nope. Not interested. Can't get any cataphracts and... Can't really get anything big in these cities either. Small scale farming would be nice, but... I don't know. I kind of feel like I should really upgrade Bukharak a lot more. I've been neglecting that city too much. Alright, we'll save up some cash, and we're going to continue to wait till we're all done with the temple to Aru Masta. Because again, I don't want to deal with any rebels. See, there we go. The city's already in discontent mode. That's so dumb. It just like goes from, oh, happy, sad, happy, sad, happy, sad. They, they can't make up their mind. And I have full garrison in that city, which is insane. Though I should begin another campaign of conquest pretty soon. Since I don't really want to deal with... Huh. Okay, don't have to worry about them. Since I don't really want to have to deal with the Seleucids getting way too powerful. And us losing the advantage. Are you still pissy? You are still pissy. Okay, where are you getting most of your public order from? Ah. The law. I am the law. Get us an oligarchic state. Right away. And Bukhark is getting that. Good. Alright, we'll get small scale farming here. What is causing this place to actually revolt so much? Unrest from what? From what? Alright, let's see. If I remove some dudes, still get discontent. God, I don't I don't like that one bit. Hmm, who's better? I guess I'll take this guy out. Let's see, if I remove everybody here, yep, yep, there's gonna be a lot of people revolting. We'll just wait. We'll wait for the temple. The wall is going to be completed in two turns. And the reason why we're getting the wall is because just to add the fence allows us to build some infrastructure buildings later on. As things get a little bit better for the city. And also, later on we will get allied democratic and oligarchic state. Either one. Just to make things a lot more manageable in Asak. There you go. Now now that city's happy. I don't know what's going on. There might be a spy or an assassin that actually is causing that. So, maybe we should try and find out where he is. Ah, another whore is presented to my general's good. I wonder, what's the power of the Seleucids? Let me, let me see. Seleucids, how you, how you doing? Relations well, terrible. Well, you know what? That's what you get. That's what you get. Okay. Two turns. I don't think there's going to be a rebellion in two turns. We should probably go out now. Okay, let me get all my cataphracts set up. All my horse archers. Content. Good. Really fucking good. Alright, let me see if I can get some... Oh, shit. Low tax rate? Ah, oh, awesome. Okay, now to kind of slowly and slowly peel away some units from the city. Good, good. The tribesmen. Another horse archer? Nope, not another horse archer. Put him back. There we go. That's going to be the max amount of units we move out with. It's pretty good. Pretty good amount of units to utilize. Let us see now. I do want to go down south a lot more than I want to go west. So you know what? We're going to do that. And how are you guys doing? Ah, oh, you're finally in content mode. Awesome. And in one season, there will be an allied oligarchic state, which is awesome. So once that one season kicks up, and then we're going to go ahead and leave the city. I don't really need Western Iranian archer spearmen, do I? No. No, we have horse archers. Fuck that shit. Western Iranian archer spearmen are just so goddamn useless, in my opinion. I mean, what's the point of having archers that use their little wobbly legs, their human legs, when I have a tank? A tank that fires arrows, 
essentially like a machine gun and mo and does so while moving the horse archer is basically just that a, a walking well not a walking but sort of a roving tank with flesh and nays a little bit and also eats hay and obviously it doesn't shoot out he rounds or ap rounds but you get the idea fires out it shoots out arrows what was that what was that i just saw something i saw arrows coming to the city what are the Seleucids planning are the Seleucids planning for a mass reconquest i gotta check that out I mean, that's where all their armies are heading towards these cities let me check that out okay three units Hellenistic swordsmen pikemen no not pikemen phalanxes skirmishers nothing big now if they had pikemen i would have been scared shitless there is an agent in the city but i don't think he's gonna cause too much trouble okay go down south Ooh, persian archers two missile attack Couple defense, um, decent melee attack, poor morale, good stamina, long range missiles. Why would I get puny human legs when I can get gods like the hor the Dahai horse archers? Look at these guys. Tanks. They're basically giant walking tanks that neigh and eat hay. Eastern Axemen, on the other hand, look pretty good. They have a decent missile attack, really good melee attack. I have an awesome defense. So if I need somebody to actually fight off against other infantry units and I need them to be infantry, just in case, you know, I'm facing off against something like a massive horse attack. Well, not horse attack, a uh, calf attack or something like that. Because they there could be cattles and other weird animals that the Greeks could use. Then I'm going to need infantry. Okay, now you're all done. Good, good. Ooh, look at all the pretty units we can get. I'd love to get median calf and maybe another axeman unit. Factory and tribesmen. Ooh, slingers. I think slingers are effective against armor. Mm, and I think they also have more range than archers. So maybe we'd want to get slingers later on. Could get Hellenistic classical hoplites. Those actually have a lot of defense and a lot of attack. A lot of good stuff for my eastern army. I guess we'll wait till we get Median Cav and Eastern Axeman because it never hurts to get more units. And then afterwards we'll push out. Yeah, this city has a lot more units than usual, so. Should probably go ahead and maybe stack up on some guys so that we can essentially force Prophetasia to fight us in the open field. We'll crush them and then after, we'll probably massacre their population, rape their women, pillage their lands, that sort of stuff. Nah, we're not Mongols, but we'll still pillage their lands, of course. Oh, that's the chariot army I was looking at. I thought they went all the way back to Seleucia. Oh, what's happening? Hello there, Seleucids. Is that an ar another army? No, 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 those are spies. Oh, no, no, wait, that's only one spy. Look at him cross his arms and have a little straw hat. He looks like Luffy from One Piece, except, you know, Greek version. Alrighty then, you should be all around pretty much super happy. No, you're not. Even though I have the temple of Arua Masta? Do you not love Arua Masta? How dare you, heathen? We'll purge this land of the heretics. How you doing? No, I don't need a retrain. Okay, let's go ahead and slowly and slowly take out my guys from the city. Here, does this work? Ouch. Even a low tax rate? Wow. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of unrest. Um, I do want to conquer the city, but I can't without a large amount of forces, and I can't leave the city all by its lonesome because that will cause a lot of revolt. Damn it, that does suck. So I guess I'm going to have to go back and kind of just chill out in the city for the most part. That's terrible. Alright, whatever. We'll just go ahead and stack up on some more units. 
Where's my spy, actually? Do I have a spy on the eastern front? I have a spy on the western front. Ooh, these chariots look pretty damn deadly. Can you attack us next turn? You can try to. Yeah, let's get a median calf just in case. I mean, we should be able to handle two Scythe Chariots, right? I mean, they're just Scythe Chariots. Where's my Eastern Front spy? Oh shit, I had a Diplomat this entire time. I haven't moved him at all. Ah, there's the Takalishian city. With Indian longbowmen, Hellenistic classical hoplites, Bactrian tribesmen, and Indian macemen. And then we have a rebel army Get over here. Alright, let's talk to them. Hello there, friend. How are you today? Could we make an alliance? Balanced. And you know what? Can you give us map information? Please? Yes. Damn it. It was balanced. No. Alright, we'll try next time. Thank God I finally know Get where the, the Indians Get are. Now I can make some good deals with them, get some map information, and then maybe they can actually reveal more of the map from the Seleucid side of things. Here, now let's go ahead and actually figure out where our, our spies are. You're over there. Where are you? You've been chilling out here this entire time? Okay. I'm a little bit depressed now. I need you to go over here, stat. Thank you. All right then, now, let's finish off this army. Oh, what, you don't want to play? You don't want to play? You know what, it's time to play. It's time we go down on Brown Town. Bring it, Salukids. Bash your face in. I swear on me mum. All right, Cataphracts. I'm gonna need you to lead the charge. And then we have the horse archers here. You see, we're going to win in every single open field engagement because we have the horse archers that are going to just Shrek his dudes before they even get close to us. We have the cataphracts to finish them off. And then we have the infantry to clean up old scraps. Here, we'll have four. We'll have two different groups of horse archers. Alrighty then. Push. Go, 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 go. Go my horde. They won't even see it coming. They do have a median calf, but really, those guys are super weak. They won't be able to handle us. Help them. Help them from afar. Let's send forward the cataphracts right about now. These commercials are getting annihilated. You have no walls to protect you now, fools. No, no, don't go on scrimmage mode. You must constantly fire, constantly fire. My goal is to not have a single unit get attacked by any of these skirmishers or archers. In fact, let's go ahead and send for the javelin. No? Oh. Archer Spearman, I gotta run away. Okay, I'm gonna run away back. Just so I don't get in range. Skirmishers are continuing to fall like flies. Cataphracts are in position. Really? We don't we don't need to send in anything right now. I'm just waiting for my horse archers to run out of ammo. This is the strategy. The tactics of the great Halloween Empire. I wish there was an idle animation for some of these units. Maybe like tea time or something, or maybe they can do some arm wrestling, rock, paper, scissors. Some dude can like plop open a game of chess. We can see a chess match between two units. That would be pretty cool. I mean, especially when we're waiting for horse archers to just run out of ammo. This guy had 200 uh, models, and now he's dropped all the way to 60. That is pathetic. We're still firing, right? I didn't tell you guys to stop. 
Yeah, there we go. Good boys. And girls. Whoa. You're firing back. You're firing back. Hell no. I did not allow this. Forward infantry. Look at this guy. Look at him. Look at, look at Howl from Howl's Moving Castle. He's actually in the game. Holy moly. I didn't know he was in the game. It's the same hair and everything. Okay, tribes. Um, not tribesmen, but spearmen. You guys can just chill out. Javelmen, it's time for you to fire. Oh no, wait, they're the throwing axes, dudes. Okay, throw your axes. Oh shit. Oh god. That must have hurt. Yep, they're routing now. Oh, now you're sending the median cap. Okay, time sending the cataphracts. Cataphracts, move. Yeah, you guys can just group together and attack the cav cavalry, I guess. We'll send these, we'll send these, what was it, uh, cataphract units to go around the backside and slam into the Hellenistic Pike. Well, not the pikemen, but the phalanxes if they try to mess around with us. Oh, whoa, 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 dudes. Persian archers, what you, what you doing? What you doing, bruskies? Huh? Huh? What you doing? Victory, a distinct possibility? Okay. We'll test your theory. Alright, Hellenistic Phalanx, it's time for you to get shrecked. Ooh, and the butt. The clubbing now begins. How are you doing, medium calf? Yeah, don't look you don't look too hot, don't you? My horse archers haven't even run out of ammo yet. But for some reason, they've largely stopped firing. Either that, or I just cannot notice the amount of damage they do anymore. Yep, here comes the route. Okay, now time to do a massive zergling surround on these phalanxes. Look at this white rogue would be proud. Come on, Easter Axeman. It's time for you to gain back your namesake. Ooh, our cataphracts are taking some hits. That ain't good. Defeat seems certain. Really? Whoa. Whoa. That's not kosher. Here, do we have another unit of cataphracts? I send him forward to help out the Hellenistic. Well, not the Hellenistic, but the. The cataphracts that are attacking these Hellenistic phalanxes, because they need some help. They need some Arum Mazda love. And there we go. Complete surround. Things are getting a little bit messy. I mean, Hellenistic phalanxes are no laughing matter at all, and they take quite a bit of troops to actually break through. You know what? Why don't we just retreat back our, family, uh, our cataphracts and actually go ahead and just kind of get our horse archers to fire at them. Yeah, let's retreat back our cataphracts. I don't want to lose too many of them. We need them for future battles. Bye-bye! All of the cataphracts actually chase down the skirmisher units. That all round seems like a pretty good strategy. We need cav are still continuing to fight, which is really strange. Cataphracts that are kind of doing nothing. I mean, these horse archers are still doing nothing. Yeah, I need these cataphracts to go ahead and. Okay, you guys are actually wavering. Good. Pull them back and actually use them to kill the spearmen. 
Now, I'm going to need you guys to actually help out the last remaining bits of the infantry because now it seems as though that was actually a pretty poor idea from my end to actually go ahead and pull back my cataphracts. Stop them from fighting the phalanxes. Where's the general in all this, though? Is he one of the Pelnistic phalanxes? That would be very strange. It might be the Midian Calf. Which way are you going to face Phalanx? T tell me. Enlighten me on where your next attack will be in. Okay, this guy's on full route mode. Okay, now that we have a full surround on these Phalanxes over here, let's go ahead and crush them with the Cataphracts. Uh, again, the archers stop firing sometimes. I can understand this archer because he ran out of ammo, but the other archers I really kind of don't. Oh well, this phalanx is completely crushed. Well, he should be. Median Cav are still putting up a fight. No, no, actually they've completely routed. Alright, Cataphracts, I just need you to club these Hellenistic Phalanxes to Smithereens. Oh, they're fighting to the death now. That ain't kosher. Where's that pesky general? Well, never mind, doesn't matter. We lost 146 dudes. Most of those was probably my Cataphracts? No, 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 no. How many, how many Cataphracts did we lose? 17, yikes. Most of them were actually my Mercenary Hellenistic Hoplites. Which, granted, are way weaker than the Seleucid Hoplites. And they were kind of sent into the middle of the battle. Still lost 17 cataphracts though. Ouch. That is not a, not a good thing indeed. Whatever. Let's go ahead and besiege the city. And we will go ahead and set up a ram. A couple of towers here and there. In fact, let's just set up a ram. Relations worsened. Well, but that's kind of what happens when you fight us. When you get your ass kicked, you don't like us anymore. That, that's totally okay. I understand that. You gotta get jealous of the great Pallavian Empire sometimes. Anyway, when we come back, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and continue besieging the Seleucid territories. My name is Astrolophus. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.